children i am prasanna in this video i am going to explain types of numbers that is prime numbers composite numbers relative prime numbers and twin prime numbers here in the last video i have discussed about the factors and multiples right based on factors we are going to divide the numbers into prime and composite numbers okay now let us observe some numbers few numbers i am going to take here here number okay i will find the factors of that number and here i will write how many number of factors in that particular number. right if i take one for one how many factors are there only one right and so number of factors are how many one coming to next and taking two what are the factors of two children since one is a factor of every number so one i am writing and two ones are one twos are two ones are so one and two two factors are there for two so here number of factors for two are two coming to three next what are the factors of three here one three one and three so number of factors are two next coming to four four will go in what tables it will go in one table it will go in two table it will go in four table so total how many factors for four three right next coming to five one and five only two factors for five so number of factors for five are two and coming to six factors of six are one it will go in two table it will go in three table it will go in six table so total factors of six are how many one two three four so number of factors for six are four Coming to seven, what are the factors of seven? One and seven. It is having only two factors. Next, coming to eight, it is having one and eight will go in two table. Eight will go in four table. Eight will go in eight table. Two fours are four twos are eight ones are right. So total number of factors for eight are four. Coming to nine, what are the factors of nine? One, three, and nine. So nine is having three factors. Coming to next. Ten. What are the factors of ten? It will go in one. It will go in two table. Two fives are five twos are ten ones are. So total number of factors for ten are four. Coming to eleven. What are the factors of eleven? One and eleven. Like this, we can find out all the factors of all numbers. So based on this number of factors, we are going to find which numbers are prime and which numbers are composite numbers. I want to discuss what are prime numbers. Okay, so numbers which are having only two factors, numbers which are having only two factors that is one and itself. So prime numbers are having only two factors. The factors are also one and itself, right? And we'll observe in the table how many numbers are having two factors. Here one is having one factor, so that is not prime number. Two, two is having how many factors? Two factors. So I can say two is a prime number. Next, two, three is having how many factors? Two factors. So three is a prime number. Next to four is how many factors? Three. So it is not a prime number. Next to five, five is having how many factors? Two factors. So next to prime number is five. Next to six is having four factors. No. Seven is having two factors. So seven is the next to prime number. Next eight is having four factors. Nine is having three factors. Ten is having four factors. Eleven is having two factors. So next to prime number is eleven. Next you are going to get thirteen. Next to seventeen. So on. All these numbers are having only two factors. That is one and itself. So definition of prime numbers is numbers having only two factors, one and itself are called prime numbers. Next coming to composite numbers. What are composite numbers? So numbers having more than two factors. If the number is having two factors, it is prime number. Numbers having more than two factors are other way. The numbers which are not prime numbers are called composite numbers. If you see in this, here more than two factors. It should have more than two factors. Right now, one can I take as a composite children? No, because one is having only one factor. More than two means here you 
having three. Three is having for what? For four number. Four. So first composite, the smallest composite number is four. Next here, four factors for which number? Six. Next composite number is six. Next eight. Eight is having four factors. Next nine. Next ten. Next twelve. Fourteen. Fifteen. All these are composite numbers, right? The numbers having more than two factors. In this prime numbers, which is the smallest prime number? Two is the smallest prime number. If you observe all the prime numbers, children, two, three, five, seven, eleven, except two, three, five, seven, eleven, thirteen, seventeen, next to nineteen, all these numbers are odd numbers except two. Only two is the even prime number, right? Coming to composite numbers. You will be having odd numbers and even numbers. Here, which is the smallest composite number? 4. Which is the smallest odd composite number? Odd numbers means you know here 4 is even, 6 is even, 8 is even, 9 is odd. So, which is the smallest composite number here? Uh, smallest odd composite number is 9. If you observe, two is a this two is a prime number, three is a prime number, four is a composite number, five is a prime number, six is a composite number, seven is a prime number, eight is a composite number, nine is a composite number, ten is a composite number, eleven is a composite number. So from two we be classified into prime numbers and composite numbers. Then what about this one? One is what? One is having only one factor that two one. So prime numbers means it should have two factors. But one is having only one factor. Composite numbers means it should have more than two factors. But one is having only one factor. That is why one is called neither prime. One is neither prime nor composite number. One is neither prime nor composite numbers because it is having only one factor that is itself. So what we have discussed just now, one is neither prime nor composite number. Right? Coming to next, what are prime numbers? Prime numbers are nothing but numbers having two factors. The factors are nothing but one and itself. Right? And what are composite numbers? Numbers having more than two factors. Are nothing but composite numbers, right? Next, I want to discuss what are twin primes. Twin primes. Here, when the two prime numbers differ by two, then we call them as twin primes. Okay? When prime numbers that differ by two, prime numbers that differ by two. Example. If I take 3 and 5, 3 is a prime number, 5 is a prime number. Then what is the difference of these two prime numbers? 5 minus 3 when you do, you get 2. And another example, uh, 5 and 7. 7 minus 5, how much? 2. And next numbers, 11 and 13. So 13 minus 11 is how much? 2. So when the difference of two prime numbers is 2, then we call them as twin primes. Right? Coming to the next one. Co-prime numbers. Very important. Co-prime numbers or we can call as relatively prime numbers. Relatively prime numbers. Co-prime numbers or relatively prime numbers. What are co-prime numbers? Numbers having, here, numbers having only one as a common factor. Numbers having only one as a common factor. Here, common, right? 
example I will take. Yeah, for example, 4 and 5. I can say 4 and 5 are co-prime members because here if you observe factors of 4. What are the factors of 4 here? 1, 2, 4. Right? And what are the factors of 5? 1 and 5. If you see, what are the common factors in these two numbers? Only 1. Any other common is there? No. So I can say here, these two numbers are having only 1. One common factor that is also 1. So I can say 4 and 5 are co-prime numbers. Here co-prime numbers, two co-prime numbers, two prime numbers are co-primes and all the co-primes need not be a primes. In this it's not compulsory to have all prime numbers only. It contains other com uh, contains composite numbers also. But all prime numbers are co-prime numbers. But all co-primes are need not a prime numbers. For example, you take any prime numbers children. If you take any prime numbers, for example, 17 and 23. 17 and 23 are prime numbers because they are having only two factors, one and itself. Then find out factors of 17, 1 and 17. And what are the factors of 23? You are going to get 1 and 23. If you observe, what are the common factors in this? 1. So, here 17 and 23 are co-prime numbers and these are prime numbers. So, I can see that all the prime numbers are co-prime numbers but all co-primes are need not be primes. For example, I will take 9 and 8. What is 9 here? Is 9 a prime number? No. What is 8 here? 8 is also not prime number. Now I will find the factors. Okay. Factors of 9. What are the factors? 1, 3, 9. And what are the factors of 8? 1, 2, 4 and 8. Right. Here 9 is not a prime number. 8 is also not prime number. They are composite numbers. Now we will see the what are the common factors in these two numbers? 1, 1. Only 1 is a common factor. I can say 2 numbers having 1 as a common factor, we call it as a co-prime numbers. Even though prime is there in the definition, but all the co-primes are need not be a prime. So here I can say 9 and 8 are co-prime numbers. So all the prime numbers are co-prime numbers. And all co-primes are need not be a prime numbers. The co-prime numbers be composite numbers also. They should contain only one as a common factor. One more example I will take. 5 and 15. Are 5 and 15 are co-prime children? We will check it. Okay. Factors of 5. What are the factors of 5 here? 1 and 5. And what are the factors of 15? 1. 3, 5, 15. What are the common factors here? 1 is common and 5 is also common. Can I say that 5 and 15 are co-prime numbers? No. 5 and 15 are not co-prime because they are having 1 and 5 as a common factors. Co-prime numbers are, should have only 1 as a common factor. 